Hello, welcome. Uh, these are the videos, for, uh, well, the tarot for um, middle of the week, <laughs> all signs of the zodiac. And uh, it's, well, it's actually supposed to be more of an oracle reading today. So um, I've actually got the wrong cards out. <laughs> oh dear. Right, hang on a minute. Let me just get the right cards. Um, I'm all of a dither. <laughs> I just remembered what I'm doing. Oh dear. Sorry about that. <laughs> I've had a bit of a funny day today. Um, so um, yeah, it's uh, it's an oracle reading for the middle of the week, isn't it? I forgot about that. So I used the Brian Froud, um, well, that's that's actually just my the cover I put it in. I used the Brian Froud oracle for the middle of the week. Okay. And um, we sort of just see what messages in that, and then um, then I'm also going to use this lovely. Uh, well, actually, I usually use another oracle deck. Um, what one? What one was I thinking of using? Um, oracle of Roses, actually, I was going to use. I think I'll use that one. Hang on a minute. <laughs> uh, Gilbert, stop it. Oh dear. You know when you have um oh, you know when you have one of those days and you're just sort of um I don't know, there's just different things going on for me at the moment and you just it's just mad, isn't it? You sort of like you just not with it, but um I'm with it now. <laughs> I'm using this oracle. <laughs> oracle of the roses. Um it's a nice deck. Sometimes the cards need a bit more of an explanation. Hence why I'm going to use the book, um, if I'm not sure. And um, it's a nice, it's a very pretty, lovely oracle deck. Um, but I don't usually use it if I'm doing pure tarot readings because, um, you know, it takes a bit longer to have a look at the meaning of the oracle card. But I am going to pick two tarot, um, just as an idea of what tarot is saying as well. Um, I've got a cup of tea, <laughs> I think I need it, well a bit more, I probably need more than a cup of tea at the moment, there you go, Beetlejuice today. Um, and I bought these lovely purple candles, I haven't lit it at the moment but I'll show you, they're quite cute aren't they, I thought that was quite a cute candle to have. Um, okay so we're going to go into it, we're going to go through all the zodiac signs, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I look a bit windswept, I just took Gilbert out for a walk and it's like really windy here. <laughs> oh dear. But anyway, he's happy, he's had his little walk. So we're going to go into it then, um, yeah, and um, see, you know, see what we're getting, all right? Okay, so Taurus then, let's see what we get for you. Oh, Piper, lovely. Um, the Piper just means that you're getting in touch with your gentle nature. Um, and um, through being in your more gentle or what you might call your true nature, you're attracting, you're attracting something, okay? People are going to be attracted to you because you're sending out an, a very kind of um, gentle, artistic, you know, some, some of you, it might be more of a gentle, romantic vibration. <laughs> uh, some of you, it might be more of an artistic type of thing. Okay. Um, let's see what else we're getting. So you could be attracting love or emotional, um, sensitive people. Okay. Um, you're ending a karmic cycle at the moment. Um, you've got the world. You're having a lot of realisations. You're basically ending an old chapter, starting a new chapter. And it means you're in a higher level of consciousness with the world. It does mean something's come to completion in your life that might have been happening for a long time. And it might be making you feel very um, unsettled at the moment. It might be making you feel like you're overthinking things a bit too much. Let's see what... Um, it's like you've got to kind of weigh things up 
um, and you're kind of un undecided about something and um, you're probably overthinking it and it's more better rather than thinking about it it's better to be like the piper and just be more in your just your gentle energy be gentle with yourself just tune into your energy you know we're very sensitive in this soul family and it would be more beneficial to just really be in your energy um but it's but basically because a, a cycle or a, a long standing chapter you've had is now coming to a close you're making a lot of realizations and you might be feeling a bit um either undecided about it or you just know you're overthinking everything um you're oh my god <laughs> This is this could be a bit triggering for some of you. Um, spirit is uh, saying there's something here to do with the father. Okay, that's so. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> let's see what it says. Okay, um, let's see what it says. Okay, what are the useful lessons I have learned in my life from an authority higher than myself? OK, so it's not necessarily to do with your father, although you might know that some of the cycle, well, the, it's not, I wouldn't say some of the cycle, I'd probably say it's a, a very big cycle coming to a close, could be linked to your father um, or a father figure. And it, that could be the reason why you were on this karmic cycle or it, it could be that you're... You know, our parents or caregivers as children are basically carrying the karma similar to ours. Um, and that karma that kind of would have matched your more masculine caregiver is sort of coming to a close, okay? Um, but for some of you, it could be to do an, with an authority as well. Um, and um, basically, um, they're saying, you know, patience is needed <laughs> at this time. Um a patience before your plans can unfold okay um and um they're trying to sort of realign you to your true passions your true values and your true calling so um they're sort of saying to you to take time at the moment um to make sort of the right decisions okay um and um you know there might be some lessons that you have learned um, as a result of um, some kind of authority that was higher than yourself, perhaps as a child, and you've now learned the lessons from that and realise it's time to put it to bed, you know, um, because you're going to be starting a new chapter that is much more in line with your passions, your values and your calling. OK, so um, I'll hold this card up for you to tune into that energy because that is helping you that energy in that card to really tune in to yourself and your true values your true passions and your true calling because it's time to put something to a close and try not to overthink it if you can <laughs> but just go into your true energy all right so that's the message to us i hope that does help um, we're going to go into Virgo next. Okay, so Virgo. Virgo for the middle of the week. Unity. Lovely. So um, this can be two things, really. This can be, um, well, it would basically be simultaneously happening that you are becoming more unified with yourself um becoming at one with yourself you know um and then that's making you feel more at one with the people around you because you can't really be at one with the people around you um until you feel at one with yourself so there's something very um important happening for virgo at this time you're becoming more at one with yourself more at peace with yourself. Um, it is hard work um, and you may have feel like something's been obstructing you. Um, you may notice you were sort of obstructing yourself 
okay and um you're tired <laughs> right um but you're determined to um tune into your true nature which is the page of cups okay because the page of cups is a very pure uh, it's a childlike energy it's a very innocent energy it's kind of like our true inner child um and um so you're making really good um progress now to um basically follow what makes you happy um and and what makes us happy is always honoring the inner child within us and doing things the inner child you know needs um sometimes the inner child can be very needy and in a lot of pain and that's not really the true inner child that's just pain body around the inner child um, and it's important to sort of respect that but purge it and release it because the true inner child is just how spirit made you and it's like Virgo is starting to get more in touch with what brings you joy again what makes your heart sing what makes you feel happy to be sensitive to yourself and follow what feels good for you okay so um it feels like something may have been obstructing you from doing that and it could have been other people but um or situations you know sometimes when you've got a lot on your plate it's really hard to honor your inner child and do what makes your heart sing isn't it but um really that's still a reflection that we're obstructing ourselves because we're allowing that to happen so um, there's obviously a change going on, a very beautiful change going on for Virgo in this soul family, because you're, you know, with a 10, you're kind of at the end of this kind of long road where it feels like you've been carrying a lot of burdens and it's been weighing you down and you feel tired and you don't want to be obstructed anymore. You just want to be, you know, happy. You want to be at one with yourself. Um, so it's good news for you, really, at this time. Let's see what your spirit guides are saying. Okay, you've got the pioneer. I mean, that sounds great, doesn't it? <laughs> the pioneer. Let's have a look what that means for you. Number two, that is. Okay, let's have a little look. Um, yeah, a new beginning um, may be the start of a situation that will be beneficial for you. Um, okay. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, okay, look a little deeper at what is already here. What are you doing before you jump forward? Have you missed something along the way? You know, often we jump forward and we haven't really got in touch with our inner child, uh, with our true nature. Um, I used to do it all the time, you know, and I'd be sort of jumping forward into something without really getting in touch with myself properly and I wasn't really at one with myself you know um and spirit is saying uh, with the pioneer energy it's about um it's about um it's about uh you know looking a little bit deeper before you jump forward okay um, because the pioneer is kind of jumping from one thing to another in a constant quest to better ourselves. But we have to ask ourselves, are we bettering ourselves um, in line, you know, in, in our truth? Or are we bet trying to better ourselves, you know, because of how other people should see us or what we should be achieving, you know? Um, so spirit is really getting Virgo in this soul family at the moment before you jump forward because there's obviously a, a new beginning here starting for you because the 10 is an ending, you know, um, before you jump forward, how can you tune into yourself and be really loving to yourself and, you know, really be unified, you know, the unity card there, be at one with yourself so that you don't carry on making yourself so tired and, you know, bogged down, um, oppressed or obstructed. It's sort of like a tiring sort of energy carrying too much you know they're trying to they're trying to just really get you to to really like tune into yourself and I feel like that's what you're doing you're doing a great job here 
you are because page of cups shows that you do feel excited it might not be easy but you do now feel a lot more excited about following what's true for you and what makes your heart sing you know and you might need to tune into that a little bit more even before you'll know kind of exactly what what you need to do next okay so i hope that helps that reading um sorry i'm a bit, a bit slow when i'm reading the this this thing because i want to make sure i'm saying it and not confusing you okay so let's go into um capricorn okay capricorn for the middle of the week let's see what we get for you You've got ecstasis. This is a lovely energy. It's actually a very powerful energy. It's it's ecstasy. It's the energy of ecstasy. Um, and this is really primarily um, to awaken you, you know, to it's like there's excitement, you know, running through your veins. <laughs> but, you know, everything's done by spirit, really. It's not, you know, we think we're the ones doing it, everything, but we're, we're not really, are we? Spirit's doing it. So, you know, spirit is um, getting you all excited um, for something here to awaken you, to awaken you to your true path. Um, you've got here the emperor, which is being very rational, um, you know, and um, you've got here a sort of confused energy, the two of the two of wands, um, you know, it's like a stuck energy. It's like, oh my God, what do I do about this situation? It's like you're trying to be too rational about a situation um, because the emperor is all about sort of controlling circumstances, making things happen um, and being very rational. But the thing with the two of wands is you can't really be rational. You can't really solve it by looking, you know, like... Um, say like you've got a, a normal everyday problem you know um I don't know how can I cl clean up my home or something you know that's a practical problem that you can logically and rationally sort out yeah but the situation that Capricorn's facing at the moment you can't really solve this by looking at the reality and, and actually the more you look at it the more crazy you will become what you need to do is um, not look at the situation that's upsetting you at the moment, okay? You need to just focus within. And spirit is bringing you a very excited energy, that ecstasy energy, you know? You do feel excited about something and it's something in here. So, you know, cultivate that energy, look at it, get to know yourself um, and focus on that excited energy inside you and that is the key and then this situation will start to not be so stuck this situation will start to progress okay but it's only going to progress by you focusing on this excited energy it's like a, maybe a feeling of inspiration a feeling of excitement that you get and it's something in here to do with you try not to look at the external situation that's what spirit is saying because it will drive you crazy um, and it won't be solved that way. Um, and you've got the card here, the hero. <laughs> okay, the hero. So I'll have a little look at that for you. Number 36, that is. Let's have a little look. Hmm. Uh, let's see what we get. Um, okay, keep going with what you are currently working on. There is a strong indication of positive outcomes and eventual success. Yeah. So that's why it's important not to look at the external situation because the external situation looks like it's stuck and it's not going to go anywhere. And that's why it's going to drive you crazy trying to solve it and figure out well, what do I do? Um, what they're saying is um, there is a strong indication of positive outcomes and eventual success. Um, there might be a mentor or somebody that can help you at the moment, okay? Um, and, um, you know, and uh, also what you're learning at the moment about yourself is something that you can share because they're talking about you being a mentor, 
you know if you were a mentor what would you be sharing so you've got this amazing excited feeling that you're feeling more inspired or excited about life and get to know that feeling about you rather than trying to sort out a confused situation share your energy you know let your energy shine out and um you know then you'll find things start to shift okay so i hope that makes sense because uh you know they're saying that um well let's have another look um because they are saying you are currently work keep going with what you are currently working on because there is a strong indication of positive outcomes and eventual success so it's it's like focusing on in here focus on what you're doing and what the excitement that you're feeling and then you're going to have success eventually rather than looking at the situation which will drive you crazy and keep it stuck okay so that's what spirit's saying so i hope that helps capricorn okay we're going to go to aquarius Aquarius for the middle of the week. Oh, here of the fiery sword. Great will, determination, and a breakthrough. Okay. Massive breakthrough for Aquarius this week. And nothing's going to stand in your way. <laughs> You've made a lot of realisations and you do see things a lot more clearly now um you may feel that you have been keeping yourself stuck <clears throat> and you may realize this week that you've kind of been doing that you've been seeing barriers or obstacles and actually you're going to realize this week that there are no obstacles there are no barriers um and you're gonna really have a breakthrough this week Let's see what else we're getting for you. All the barriers and obstacles were just in your head. Okay. Um, and you're going to realise that this week. Um, you've got the night. Okay. Number 16. So I'm going to read that for you. I'm going to have a look. Okay. Hmm. Go in the direction. Um... Go in the direction, not so much that's comfortable, but the place that is true for your heart. <laughs> okay, so it might not be comfortable, but it's where your heart is leading you, okay? Um, Okay, so they, they are talking about a battle. <laughs> it's like, because uh, the knight is ready to go into battle at all times. Yeah, for the ideals that they believe in. Um, and um, they're sort of saying to you, you know, to think about um, what it is you're fighting for. And um, it might be that it's time to depart a certain situation okay so there might have been part of you that's been fighting moving forward with something yeah but it's all in your head <laughs> you've been you've been fighting it and seeing obstacles um but they don't they no longer exist and this week you are like an absolute knight with a sword in your hand <laughs> okay great will great determination a breakthrough you know you are going to make things happen and you're going to be surprised that you're going to realise um, that because you're following your heart and what you know is the truth in your heart, there is going to be a breakthrough this week and something is going to start happening. OK, so um, spirit is, I feel, um, really igniting you this week and saying it is possible. What, whatever it is in your heart that you've wanted to follow, it is possible and you're going to see straight through the barriers they don't exist okay so good luck with that Aquarius so I'm sending you lots of love um right we're gonna go into Gemini next Gemini for the middle of the week let's see what we get 
come on. You've got two cards. You've got fairies of the future. How lovely. So it's all about the future for you. That's nice. And you've also got unity, becoming at one with yourself. Yeah, lovely. You're reunifying with yourself. That means remembrance of self. It's remembering who you are and feeling much more whole and complete within yourself, more at one. You know, when, when you're in conflict with yourself, you're fighting yourself, you're not really at one, are you? But once you're at one with yourself and you're being true to yourself, yes, that's when you can start moving forward, isn't it? So this week, Gemini, you are going to finally be moving forward. Um, <clears throat> you have felt confused and undecided, okay, because that is a card of indecision, overanalyzing things, weighing things up, probably a bit too much. Um, and this is you realizing, Nine of Pentacles, I have got the resources, I have got the skills, I can uh, move into the future with confidence, okay? So lovely cards there for you. Um, after feeling confused or like you've been overthinking something, you're finally going to find yourself moving forward and your moving forward is going to make you feel so much more whole and complete and one with yourself. It's like, yes, this feels right and I can do this. Um, oh, you've got the pioneer cards. That came through already for somebody. Um, I'll read it out. Um, a new beginning or, yeah, a new beginning may be beneficial for you at present. Sometimes we find ourselves forever jumping from one thing into another in a constant quest to better ourselves. Um, this doesn't always help our growth or depth because, you know, we're sort of scattered, aren't we? We're not, we're not really unified with ourselves. We're just going with the mind and we're just like, oh, we'll do this, we'll do that. <laughs> you know, there's no real alignment. Um, but the pioneer is someone who is... Um, developed a deep understanding of the endeavour that they are undertaking. Um, you know, before you jump forward, uh, you know, have a think about, um, have you really thought this through, okay? So, um, basically, Spirit is helping uh, Gemini to... Um, stick with what you really feel is right for you um, and really consider it, you know, like really consider things and know that you are definitely doing what is right for you rather than scattering yourself in loads of different directions and kind of wasting your time or resources. Um, I don't think that's going to happen now. I think Spirit is setting you on track um, to stay really focused, really at one with yourself, and you're grounded now to go in the right direction, okay? So I hope that helps. It's a confirmation, really, um, that there's going to be more um, alignment for you, and you're, head, you're more, like, confident that you are going in the right direction, okay? So, that's quite nice. <laughs> Let's go into Libra, then. Libra for middle of the week. Oh, you've got the Piper. Piper, lovely. Uh, very gentle, soft energy, very artistic. It's nice. <laughs> it's a nice energy. Feeling in touch with your sensitive self. You could be attracting things. Um, you are really... You, you are, you've been very careful, you've been very careful and you've been watching a situation or observing yourself. Um, you are clear now on the way that you want to proceed, but you are probably grieving at the moment or sad about something. And you basically know that you have to follow a certain path at this point um you know and i think the most important thing that spirit is saying is be gentle with yourself be kind to yourself 
because you've got the page of swords to the queen of swords and they're quite cold energies um i think it's almost like libra you're having to be very direct to make things happen at the moment um and you're definitely not gonna let anything deter you which is brilliant um and you and the great thing is you do have clarity now i think you've built up a lot of clarity and you've built up a lot of knowledge um from observing yourself and maybe observing a situation and really you know this week it is about now starting to make things happen you know um, but what spirit is showing me in these cards is that you it is important for you to keep being gentle and kind to yourself yeah um let's see what else we get you need to be gentle and kind with yourself because there is something that you're having to process emotionally you know and that's not easy um it's not easy, especially when you've got forward movement and there's things you need to now do. Um, you've got the card, the gambler. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at that. Number 30. Let's see what we get there. What do we get for that one? It is a time of unsettled energies and you might need to take a risk at this time um, and you just need to make sure that you are happy to take that risk, okay? Um, um, it's like you know that you were feeling unfulfilled and you know that something was missing from your life um and um you know it's it's kind of what they're saying is it's kind of good um it's kind of good to think of the long game okay and to basically know that um you know that you're basically thinking about what you're moving into um, and um, it's worth taking the risk. It's like weighing up the risks you're taking but knowing that deep down it's kind of what you've got to do and you're in it for the long game so it's worth it in the long run to take the risk. Does that make sense? Um, obviously, you have to decide what's best. I can't make decisions for you, <laughs> you know. But um, the cards are saying that there, there's something you're considering doing and it may feel to you like it's a little bit on the risky side and you're the one that's got to weigh it up. Is it worth the risk for me to do this or not? And I think the answer lies within your gentle heart because um, you are sensitive and... Um, you've got to kind of do what's right for you in the long run, you know, <laughs> considering how sensitive you are, you know, and you need to take care of yourself while you do take your next steps because you are sensitive. Does that make sense? So I hope that helps. It just looks like you're basically moving towards action and, you know, following a very, you've got a very clear vision now. And you are facing taking a risk of some sort. And just, just be gentle with yourself. Be kind with yourself. Don't throw yourself in. <laughs> you know, do it in a sensitive way for yourself. And um, then, you will know, you'll, um, you know, and you, you've got to think about the long game. That you're probably doing something that in the long run will be beneficial for you. So it's probably worth taking the risk. But perhaps do it in a measured sort of way in a, and in a, a sensitive way does that make sense <laughs> so that you so that the risk you're taking isn't too too risky does that make sense um so hopefully that helps i'm hoping that does help <laughs> i can kind of relate to it <laughs> and you know libra is represented by the justice card in the tarot interestingly enough you know so it's about taking balanced risks you know measured risks 
um, and getting justice for yourself, you know. Okay, let's go into Leo. You've got healing card here, to buy to of the waters, which is water healing um, or emotional healing. So, all right, this is for uh, Leo. <laughs> I hope I just said that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I don't know where my brain goes sometimes. This is for Leo, yeah? This is healing. There's something here very deeply healing. Oh, yes. I mean, you've been stuck. You've been stuck or held down. But it's the devil card and it's always temporary. Okay, so temporarily you were being stuck for some reason. Could have been karma uh, playing out there. But this week you are going to be moving forward finally and making great progress and becoming an expert at what you're doing. And this is something to do with healing. Okay, deep healing with that water card there. It's emotional healing. Oh, the gambler. Um, that card keeps coming out. I'm going to shuffle again. But it, th there is some sort of risk you're weighing up taking. And it is about weighing up the longer term benefits of you doing what you do. Um, I see that there are long term benefits with the eight of um, pentacles because that's about long term success, like long term work and, you know, reaping the rewards from it, you know. Um, oh, my God, that card come out again. I'll show it to you because it's just come out twice. They are definitely confirming that there's some sort of risk that Leo is thinking about taking. But, you know, you've got to just, again, you've got to weigh it up, take a measured risk, you know, be gentle with yourself because this is all about healing you and it's about your long-term progress, you know. Um, I think probably it's worth it in the long run for you to do this. Um, and it will be healing in the long run for you to do this, but it might feel a bit risky at the moment. Um, and you've got the night as well, which is <laughs> so funny. I think a lot of us in this soul family are going through similar things. Um, the night um, came out for somebody else as well, for another zodiac sign. And that is about, um, you know, really going for things now, going for what is in your heart. OK, so... Spirit is right with you, Leo, to follow your heart this time. Yes, it probably feels like you're taking a few risks, but you know, you're finally moving forward and you're going to see such progress this week after feeling stuck for probably a while. Um, and, and it wasn't doing your mental health any good, honestly. OK, so I hope that helps. OK, so we're going to go into Aries next. Aries for the middle of the week. Let's see what we get for you. <laughs> hmm. Oh, um, there's some healing going on here for Aries. That's deep emotional healing. Let's pick you another card as well because that just came out before. Intuition. Interesting. So perhaps you're getting more intuition to do with your healing journey at this time. And you sort of intuitively know the things that you're healing in yourself um you know and it also may be healing a relationship here um let's see what else we're getting for you um a new beginning <laughs> you know accepting the unknown um not dwelling on the things that haven't gone so well um but trying to focus on two opportunities here that are presenting themselves to you this week and these opportunities will take you much further um in a positive direction and it's going to be quite uh funny um probably funny is not the right word but it's going to be quite um one extreme to the other you know um but it's coming through the acceptance. Like a, there's a deep acceptance here that you've been working on cultivating, you know, about accepting the unknown in your life and trying to, um, you know, just be more surrendered um, to the fact that you're at a new beginning in your life and you know that you have to surrender to the way 
everything is happening because that is the way destiny is unfolding for you at the moment and there is obviously some things that you've been really sad about but um there's definitely two opportunities here this week and i think intuitively you realize it's going to be healing for you to follow these two things or take these two opportunities um and um you you're going to feel sort of like quite a you know shift like probably such a massive shift from being so very depressed and so very upset to like wow you know this is fantastic news actually and this is actually really healing <laughs> and really amazing you know um so that is empress the acceptance card and um this is you know the two opportunities here that are going to be moving you forward um and you're sort of intuitively drawn here to these two opportunities or these two really fulfilling things you've got the card the ruler okay so i will that's number 26 let's have a little look what that means okay additional powers and an increase in resources is indicated for you at this time um yeah you've got the ability to lead Um, okay, so spirit is with you on your mission and your heart, okay, um, and um, you are basically inspiring others, you're a good leader, and um, you're going to be moving forward in a way where, you know, you're not dominating anyone or in competition with every, anyone. You're just literally um, following um, what you know you need to do. Um, so <clears throat> you're going to have an increase in powers and an increase in resources this week. Um, and I can see there's two opportunities there. So this is going to be healing for you. <laughs> you're going to intuitively know it's what you've got to do. And spirit is blessing you because you've had a very uncertain time. And you've kind of been able to just show that you've been able to show spirit that you surrender and that you accept. You know, I'm not fighting things anymore. I'm not fighting life anymore. I'm not fighting myself anymore not fighting other people anymore you know I do surrender and I do accept that I need to heal myself and I know I need to embrace a new way okay and there is a new way here definitely <laughs> and uh, I think you're going to go for it intuitively you're going to be drawn to the right thing so get ready because there's definitely something coming in here for Aries this week that's going to really boost you Okay, hopefully that helps. <laughs> Let's go into Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius for the middle of the week. Let's see what we get. Spirit dancer, how beautiful. This is all about self-expression. Love that. You know, finally feeling free. To express yourself as you really are, not how other people want you to be. <laughs> Love that. Uh, you've been going through a transformation. Oh dear, it's heavy. <laughs> Sad in this soul family. Um, you know, it is a bit of a shocking time for you. You know, you've got the, the death card to the tower. You're going through a major transformation. You've, been, you've already been going through a major transformation and you are just having to completely follow your truth and you're just completely honouring yourself and expressing yourself in the moment and it's brilliant. Okay. Um, you know, you might feel very uh, all over the place emotionally at the moment. Um, so you know, any form of self-expression is going to help you. But it 
it's okay um, because the most important thing is you're really, really, you know, um, being true to yourself. And so it is good, really, you know, um, even if you do feel unsettled at the moment. Because when you've got the Tower card, yes, you do feel unsettled. But on the other hand, you know it's a good thing because you're not living a lie. You know, you're not being fake. You're being really freaking authentic when you've got the Tower card. Um, oh, my God, you've got the card, the Liberator. <laughs> okay, so that's number 27. So let's have a little look at that. What do we get? Let's see. Number 27, the Liberator. What does freedom mean to you? Sometimes you need to act and even make decisions completely alone. And this does take courage. But it does mean that you create for the future something that is completely in line with your values. There is a new hope and a breakthrough and an opportunity coming. Okay. So... Um, it really is the fact that you are liberating yourself, <laughs> you are being authentic, you are expressing yourself freely, your whole life is moving into a much better alignment with who you really are. Um, so, you know, spirit is with you, supporting you. I mean, spirit wants this for you. Spirit wants you to be liberated and expressive. So that is what spirit is helping you to do. And that's why you might feel um, unsettled or you might feel you're purging. Um, but it's just because you've got to leave the old identity identity behind and just really be you now. Um, so certain things in your life are shifting. and But you're feeling really creative. You know, you're really being creative and spirit is helping you to liberate yourself even more, which I love. <laughs> you know, it's what we like in this soul family. <laughs> okay. Let's go into to, uh, Scorpio. Scorpio for middle of the week. You've got um, She of the Cruac. It's about being open. Okay, so you're being very open here to the universe to see what the universe brings you. It's a very feminine energy. It's an energy of receiving, allowing yourself to receive. Um, is the Wheel of Fortune turning with the Two of Wands? Um, it was almost... It's quite funny because the two of wands is about confusion and um, the two cards were confused because as they come out, I didn't know which, which way round they were. <laughs> it's destiny at this time for you to feel a bit confused or a bit stuck, okay? Yeah, it doesn't sound very good, I know, but it's all about going within and connecting with your truth, Um understanding yourself look the key is within it's much more important for you not to look at the external environment because it could really drive you crazy uh, whatever situation you're in right now could drive you crazy and the key the key is not to look at the external reality because you'll drive yourself insane um it's about looking within yeah and it's destiny that this is happening at this time and really if you look within you will receive okay Let's have a look what else Spirit is saying. Uh, the Pioneer. <laughs> this, this, some of the cards are coming out again and again today. Um, number two. Okay, you've got the Pioneer, which um, a new beginning um, it, is beneficial for you. Yeah? Sometimes we jump from one thing to another and we scatter ourselves and that doesn't help our growth or our depth. Yeah? So did I miss something along the way? I need to look a little bit deeper. Check what you're doing before you jump forward. So it's all about um, really careful consideration, but not considering the situation, considering you. Tuning into your truth, tuning into your energy. Um, and um, that is the key. And then you will receive. You will receive, okay? Um, so Spirit is saying... This is a new beginning. It's going to be beneficial to you. And um, what else did they say? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, you know, not scattering yourself from one thing to another, but staying in touch with yourself and keeping in touch with yourself, and then you will receive. Hopefully that makes sense. 
lots of love. Um, right, let's go into Pisces then. Pisces for the middle of the week. What do we get for you? Oh, <laughs> this card. Now, this card is about you deconstructing things. Okay? This is a total deconstruction. Yeah? And it, it can be a bit messy. <laughs> all right? So, it's, why it's quite a messy sort of card, okay? Because it's all everything's got to be deconstructed. And that's a bit of a messy process. Um, yeah, challenging opposing forces. Okay? You've been uh, trying to... Um, regain some kind of balance after um you know a major um situation um hang on a minute <laughs> let me look at my book <sighs> oh after being stuck i think um finally moving forward after being stuck taking a new opportunity that is healthy and stable for you yeah chariot because the chariot comes after um I don't know if it's the devil card. I uh, can't remember. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for in my book to try and remind myself. Um, but it's it's all about moving forward after being, uh, you know, stuck, basically. Um, and you, you basically, you now know what you need to do. Oh, it's after the lover's card. And the lover's card is a crossroads, right? Um, so sudden progress um, after being stuck at a crossroads and it's a golden opportunity for you it's going to lead to more stability and better health you've got the card the lover okay let's have a look at that for you number 24 that is hmm. oh dear all right um the deepening of feelings and attachments are indicated, as well as the opportunity for freedom and adventure. Be wary that obsessions do not come into play. <laughs> Always possible, isn't it? When we feel love, we get confused and we think it's that we love another, but it's never that. All, all love is the love of self. That is what the gurus teach. Um, so we don't need to get obsessed or anything with any object or person. Because really, the love that we're feeling and yearning for is the love of self, uh, which is the love of spirit. Um, so what do you love about yourself and how can you express this? OK, so you, you're going through a deep journey <laughs> here um, to love yourself. And there is sudden progress this week after feeling stuck or delayed. And you're going to really feel like this is a golden opportunity for you now. Okay. Um, and um, yeah, you don't need to become obsessed or too attached to anything. Because ultimately, this is all about you loving you. Okay. So I hope that helps. <laughs> nice reading. Let's go into Pisces. Pisces for the middle of the week. What do we get? Ooh, let's see. Oh, okay, this is all about you diving deep. <clears throat> oh, let me think. Uh, oh, gosh, I'm getting confused. Did I do? <laughs> oh, dear, what am I doing? Oh, you'll have to... <laughs> I feel silly now. I can't remember if I've just done Pisces, haven't I? Um, and did I do Scorpio? Oh, I'm getting in the pickle. I need to tick them off, don't I? <laughs> you can see I'm getting in a pickle. Let me let me do um I'm sure I did Scorpio and then I went into Pisces. So this must be um cancer. If I if I haven't if I've missed somebody, I will um What did I get? I can't I'm not even going to remember because of of um I think I did I think we had, uh, I think I did Scorpio and then I think I did Pisces already. So let's go to Cancer. Oh, Cancer, you've got this card, right? This is to do with diving deep, all right? You're diving deeper. Um, <clears throat> they're also telling you to stay grounded so that you don't feel, um, like you see like an uncancerian. If you just watch the bit before there, you'll laugh because I made a complete balls up <laughs> and I just completely lost where I was in the readings. Oh dear. Right. 
yeah, we're diving deep at the moment, so it's important to stay grounded because there's a lot going on, yeah? And that's, that's a message for me as well because I just got... I was completely ungrounded there. I was so away with spirit that I just got confused where I was in the readings. So, you know, it's important for us at this time to... Um, to stay grounded because we are diving deep now um we've been going through a period of the unknown and trying to embrace our new beginning in our life but also embrace the unknown and try and be surrendered so it's been quite challenging <laughs> you know it is challenging um but now there is progress um there might be two different options um for you Okay, and there may be this feeling of like overthinking it too much and feeling a bit confused about what you're going to do. But we do have the Knight of Swords here, which is taking swift action. It feels like you're going to make very swift action after a time of really being undecided about what option you're going to take. Let's have a look at what Spirit is saying. Oh, this is a nice card. Oh, it's completely different. We haven't had anything like this. The Giver. Okay, let's have a look. We haven't had one pink flower like that in the whole reading. That is so Cancerian, isn't it? 29. Okay, 29. Slow down the rhythm of your life, okay? Give yourself more time, more love and understanding. <laughs> That's probably what they're saying about being more grounded. Because being grounded is about giving yourself more time, more love and understanding. You know? Be, be aware of not neglecting your own needs at the moment, yeah? So, and, and think about what legacy you want to leave behind. I mean, <laughs> I don't think any of us are sort of planning on going to, back to source at the moment. But um, I suppose it is, it's thinking about, you know, what is meaningful to me, because whatever I do is what the energy I'm going to leave behind for the people I love or the world, you know, for Gaia. Um, you know, what energy am I bringing in? So I do need to think about, you know, what it is I'm doing and making sure that I'm being caring and nurturing to myself and doing what is right. Um, and I think with this Knight of Swords, it's all about having great skills and moving quickly, um, you know. Um, so I think you're going to grab, finally, an opportunity. And Because the card underneath, I'm not going to pick any more cards because it will go on and on. But the card underneath that one is the um, Ace of Pentacles. I think you're going to very quickly make a decision after a time of indecision and over analyzing because you just you've literally had no clue and and you've had to completely surrender and now it's about diving deep really diving deep into something into yourself probably um but you are going to be diving deep and um just nurture yourself care for yourself while you do it okay um it's important because um it's all about the energy. <laughs> it's all about your energy and the energy of what you're doing is so important, you know? And that kind of informs how you do things and the way you do them and the decision you're making. It's all kind of, it all relates, doesn't it? It all links together. So um, I think you're on the verge of taking an opportunity if it's not in the middle of the week, maybe towards the end of the week, it's going to be very clear to you, okay? So I'm sending you lots of love, and I hope I've done all of the star signs, because I got in such a pickle between Scorpio and Pisces. <laughs> and I don't know why. I just... Oh, dear. I never mind. I think... It, it, I have to say, the Scorpio-Pisces cancer energy, it it does merge for me a little bit. So that's maybe why that happened. But anyway, hopefully I've covered them all. If I didn't, I'll add an extra video at the end. Um, I'll upload a separate video. But um, if you want to book in for a reading, you're very welcome. You know, just email me or uh, message me on Facebook or something. Um, 
and um, thanks for giving the video a thumbs up thanks for subscribing thanks for supporting thanks for your comments as well i do read them even if i don't reply straight away i do see them pop up. like literally when you put a comment it, it comes up on my phone almost instant and then i, I see them and i smile because <laughs> i know who you all are so well, most of you and if you're new you know it's great as well it's always nice to see so thank you very much lots of love and peace